And unlike the farm at home, <laughs> this is uh, not light and sandy, pure clay down here. And the sediment's then been spread here on the side of the dike uh, on the land. Uh, some farmers will disc this, flows out of, and it heads off there into the River Yare. Welcome back to the Broads National Park and in today's video we're going down to the marshes to see the dikes being cleaned out. And if you could help me out and give this video a thumbs up it would be much appreciated. And we're now back at the old pump house and it's looking very different down here to when we were here the other day because Alan has been uh, digging out the dikes here with, the, with his Volvo excavator so we pay a fee to ask you and they come down here and clean the dikes out. The dikes have to be cleaned out on average every four years. And the reason why we have to clean out the dikes is because uh, in the dikes over time, uh, they fill up with sediment. Sediment which can be passed through from further upstream and also things like vegetation which grows up in the dikes and then dies and then the organic matter uh, then sinks down to the bottom of the dikes. And then over time that builds up. So the dikes have to be cleaned out with a special bucket which we'll see today and the bucket's got holes in it. So when you scoop down, you pick up the sediment but you leave the water outside out of the bucket. You're essentially trying to pick up uh, what is gonna block the dikes. And block dikes is a really big problem because if the, do if the dikes get blocked, the marshes can become flooded because the, the main role, the main job of the dikes is to allow the water to flow off the field and into the dikes where, it, where the water is then carried through the dike system, through the pump house where it's then pumped just out here over the river wall. And that just down there is where all of the water from our marshes here down at the Broads National Park flow, flows out of and it heads off there into the river Yare. It then travels on down east towards Great Yarmouth where it then goes into the sea. And here's some of the work Alan's been doing. Alan's pulled out the sediment from the dike with the excavator, the 14 tonne Volvo he uses, and the sediment's then been spread here on the side of the dike uh, on the land, where, where over time this will uh, incorporate back into the field. Uh, some farmers will disc this, some farmers go over it with a topper. We just leave it like this, thin and levelled out like this, and then over time it will then become part of the field. And unlike the farm at home, <laughs> this is uh, not light and sandy, pure clay down here. So you could make uh, pots and pans out of this stuff. And here we go, this is uh, what Askew's been up to recently. They've been digging out the dikes here and it's a Volvo 14, uh, 140B, so it's a 14 tonne model. And Alan's got a special bucket on this one, which is a, called a dredging bucket. When he picks it up there, the water will go out of the bucket and then we'll be left with just the sediment and the, and the sediment is what we're after to get out of the dikes. And then Alan just levels it out on the top here. Uh, over time this amount of sediment here will just rot, rot down and uh, some farmers disc it, some farmers cart it away but here on the farm we uh, allow it to just sit on the surface here and then over time it gradually disappears. See, there's some of the old weeds which have grown up there in the dikes. It's going to be quite a while down here at the Broads National Park uh, cleaning out the rest of these dikes over the next week and, he, and Alan's got to go all the way along this dike and then there's another couple of fields to go down that side and then there's also some more fields over here. He has been busy on all of the fields down at the Broads National Park.
Alan's going to spend the next week digging out the rest of the dikes until they're all cleaned out and then once they're cleaned out hopefully the marshes will be free of the water and they should be as dry as ever which will be great because we need the marshes dry so that they can grow grass and that we can get the sheep and cattle down there to graze the grass and to also as well produce silage down there. So thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was something a bit different, something you don't see every day and maybe you guys learned something as well. Let me know in the comment section down below what you learned and what you found interesting about today's video and thank you very much for watching today's video as always and I will catch you guys on the next one.